I particularly like the chronological Bible. Um, the different books of the Bible were written at different times, and even some pieces of them were written at different times. And somebody took and compiled it so that it flows straight through, and you find out they weren't sent into Babylon six different times. It was a punishment primarily once. Uh, and when you get to the gospel, it's probably a little bit shorter in the gospel because there's some repetition in there and they don't repeat the same verse four times because it was in the four gospels. So uh, that's a pretty good way to, to read the Bible. And uh, I was also challenged once to read the Bible uh, over a short period of time. I was suggested to read it over three months. And uh, my son and I both took the challenge and, and did it. And you can do it with any Bible. You just look at the number of pages that it's got and you divide it by the number of days in those three months. And then you read that many pages each day. And the advantage of doing that is uh, you're looking at the big picture then instead of the individual verses, which we sometimes get hung up on.